Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to go over NMES, or Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation, a great way to help improve muscle strength early on after knee replacement surgery. So NMES, or Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation, is using electrical stimulation, um, electrical inputs through pads here that I'll show you, to provide a strong, firm muscle contraction. And it's used particularly after knee surgery with your quadricep muscles here of your thigh, muscles that are very commonly atrophied and weakened after surgery. So we're using this to provide that electrical input to get a strong, firm, isometric contraction, meaning that we're not trying to move the muscle or move the leg, but we're actually going to keep it in place. And I'll show you how you can do that also. So for the setup for this, um, first I want to make sure definitely double check with your physical therapist, with your doctor, go over using electrical stimulation. Um, there's portable units out there that you can definitely use, but you really want to go over the setup with a, a healthcare professional who knows how to set it up, who knows how to set the parameters on the machine. If you're using a machine in a clinic or if you're using a portable unit as well, there's portable units out there that you can use at home. Make sure everything's set up properly. Make sure you know how to do it properly. And the other thing is there are some contraindications or precautions. Um, for example, if you have a pacemaker or any type of cardiac history, there's some precautions there that you need to be aware of. Um, so definitely going over that with your healthcare provider as well is very important. But this is just generally kind of the setup and what we want to do with electrical stimulation. So first of all, we have two pads and we use the two by four pads, so the rectangular pads, instead of the two by two squares. And you're gonna put one down closer to your knee in the middle part, and that's because there is this insertion, um, this VMO, it's called the vastus medialis obliquus, or oblique, um, that is a nice part of your quadricep muscle that can be weakened and there's potential that that weakness can really affect your dynamics, your biomechanics with movements after surgery or in general. So we put one there at that insertion, and then we're going to put one pad up here, um, kind of near the insertion closer to the hip joint, and this one's going to be lateral out to the side more. And if you need to feel kind of where that muscle is, you can do a quad set trying to straighten that knee feel your quadriceps and feel where those muscles are and put the pads in that regard. And that's something your therapist can help you with as well. Then you're going to take one of the leads or channels from the unit you're using and you're going to connect the wires on the pads and you're going to connect them, make sure it's connected to the machine. Then all you have to do is turn on your machine, go to the NMES setting, the appropriate setting, and then what actually you're going to do is you're going to turn up the intensity, the milliamps, of the input so you get to that strong, strong as you can tolerate contraction. You are going to feel that actual contraction of the muscles with this activity. Um, so for example, with TENS, it's more of a pain relieving thing. And you might get a twitch a little bit, but you, might not, you shouldn't really have that strong muscle contraction. But with this, with NMES, we do want that contraction. So there's two setups that I like to use. Um, we want to do an isometric contraction. So basically we're contracting that muscle, but we're not moving the knee or the leg. So one way to do it is in a chair. And then I wrapped a band, a loop around the chair here. So you tuck your leg into there. And then when you do the contraction, you're going to push into that band but then your leg isn't moving, so you're getting that isometric contraction that way. The other way to do it is to do basically a quad set or a straight leg raise. Um, so I put, for example, you can put your leg out on a stool, you can put it on a chair in front of you, or you can do this laying down. And then when you feel that electrical stimulation, you have the contraction, you're just gonna squeeze, push your knee down, straighten the knee, and hold it. So how most of these machines are set up is that you'll get 10 seconds of a contraction followed by 50 seconds of rest. And usually that will go for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. 
So you'll get 10 or 15 real good strong contractions of your muscle with the electrical stimulation. It may also be 15 seconds on and 45 seconds of rest. It just depends on the settings you have on your machine. But the idea is a brief time, 10 to 15 seconds of contraction, followed by a prolonged 45 to 50 seconds of rest, and doing that 10 or 15 times in a row. So again, coming back to the machine here, we want the strongest input, the strongest contraction that you feel comfortable and that you can tolerate. So let me start to increase this here. Let me just get to the right spot. uncomfortable but we really you know the more you can tolerate the stronger muscle contraction the more strength gains and improvements you'll be able to get so when you get to that spot and again I would make sure my foot's in the right place so if you think you're at the strongest intensity that you feel comfortable and can tolerate you can go ahead and start the machine and it's actually going to start with that 10 second contraction. You're going to push into the band, contract those muscles for 10 seconds, and then go ahead and relax. Now something also is there's a ramp up and a ramp, ramp down. So what that means is when it starts, it doesn't go from zero input to the maximum input. It kind of ramps up over a period of two or three seconds to that um, full intensity of stimulation just as a little bit more of a tolerable um, way to do it and then it will ramp down over two or three seconds at the end of the contraction as well. So right now I'm in the rest period so this will be about 50 seconds so we got another 15 seconds here and then it's going to ramp up and you're going to feel that electrical stimulation again and as you feel that, you're going to actively try to contract those quadricep muscles again. So here it comes in two seconds. All right, here we go. And you get that beep sound as well to indicate that it's going to start to, you're going to start to feel that input, start contracting that muscle, start trying to activate it. Ten seconds, push, 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 and then it will stop. So I'll pause this here. And so that will go on for either ten, or 15 contractions depending on how long of a duration you set the machine for. So this is a really just a great way to start to really increase your quadricep, your muscle strength after surgery. Um, it also can be great for range of motion, improving your extension. Um, but I don't recommend using it as um, a substitution for your regular exercises and activity. You definitely need to continue to do your strengthening, your range of motion exercises. This is just an additional benefit and especially can be helpful early on to really get those early gains in muscle strength after going through the knee replacement process. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. Please be sure to leave your comments, your questions below. I'm sure there's parts of this that um, certain details that I might have missed, so please leave your questions below. Please, as always, be sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And as always, please, again, hit that subscribe button. We have hundreds, literally hundreds of videos related to knee replacement surgery, and we come out with new videos regularly. Thank you.